Today, I've prepared an installation guide video for Nolvis, which allows you to enhance and mod Skyrim in a more convenient way. I hope this video encourages more people to explore modding in Skyrim. First, let me give you a brief introduction to Nolvis. Nolvis provides a package including mods that improve Skyrim, adding various features to enhance the gaming experience. It conveniently allows you to install numerous mods that add quests, missions, and improve graphics and environments. However, it's worth noting that with mod packages like this, dealing with Skyrim's bugs can be challenging and you often rely on the package creator. There are certain individuals who might find using this mod package more beneficial. First, those who have busy work lives or occupations and don't have much time to mod Skyrim, but still want to experience it. Not everyone has ample time to dedicate to modding Skyrim. Each person's circumstances are different, and some may find themselves with very limited time to experience Skyrim, even though they want to. For these individuals, installing mods and understanding them may feel overwhelming. Therefore, using Nolvis can be a great way to conveniently experience modded Skyrim. Second, there are people who are primarily interested in experiencing the modded Skyrim game rather than modding it themselves. Some individuals may question why they need to know about modding. They have many other games to play, and while Skyrim is one of them, they find it challenging to get too deeply involved in it. For those who simply want to quickly experience the game, mod package additions like Nolvis might be the better choice. Therefore, more diverse players will be able to experience modding Skyrim through this. Later on in the Nolvis installation process, you will be even more surprised. First, to install Nolvis, you'll need a few things. Firstly, you'll need at least 500 gigabyte of storage. Nolvis consists of around 2,300 mods, requiring a substantial amount of space. While 500 GB is considered a minimum, it's advisable to have around 700 GB for more comfortable installation. Secondly, you'll need Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Although it doesn't support SSE, it's a necessary requirement. Thirdly, a Nexus Premium Membership is required, it costs about 4.5 per month. While there are manual installation guides available for non-premium members, I don't highly recommend this route. Opting for a one-month premium membership at 4.5 will be much more beneficial for you. Next, to install Nolvis, you'll need to sign up on the Nolvis website and the Nexus site. From the Nolvis website, you'll need to download two programs, Nolvis Dashboard and Nolvis Updater. After downloading, install Nolvis Dashboard and run it. During the Nolvis Dashboard setup, you'll be prompted to enter an API key. To find this key, click on the icon in the upper right corner of Nexus, then click on Site Preference. You'll see My Nexus Account on the right side, and next to it, you'll find the API key. Copy it and paste it into the API input field in Nolvis Dashboard. Remember, never share this API key with others. Next, you'll need to specify instance paths. Create folders named Instance and Archive and set their paths accordingly. Make sure these folders are empty. Keep in mind that Instance and Archive should have different paths and don't set them to the same location. I'll explain the reason later. Moving on to the performance options, it's important to note that Nolvis can be quite resource intensive. If your computer's specifications are not very high, it's recommended to select performance enhancing options in this section. Once you've completed the settings, click continue. Then you'll reach the additional options section. Here you can choose whether to apply nude patches to humanoid actors, select the type of female skin, and activate or deactivate hardcore mode, alternate leveling, alternate start, and the fantasy mod. If you find the long Skyrim intro scene tedious, you can activate alternate start. Now, let's talk about ENB. Nolvis offers a choice of five ENBs, 
If you want a generally balanced color scheme, you can choose between Paicho or Rudy. I opted for Bjorn because I wanted to experience it. During the installation process, you may encounter errors. In such cases, close the dashboard, run Nolvis Updater once, and then reopen Nolvis Dashboard to continue the installation process. Now, as the automatic installation progresses, you're in for an amazing experience. Unlike other mod packs, Nolvis download each mods and installs directly from Nexus in real time. This entire process is automated. The downloads and installations are displayed in real time, with thumbnails of each mod shown on the left. For me, this installation process took about four hours. It's truly astonishing to install all 2,300 mods in just four hours. However, you may witness some mods failing to install during the process. In such cases, you'll need to manually download the mods, causing errors from the Nolvis site, and place them in the designated folder path. It's not too complicated. First, close the Nolvis dashboard that's currently installing. Then, click on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the Nolvis site. You can search for the mod, causing the error. When you enter the mod page by clicking the View button, you'll be able to download it. Place this downloaded file into the Nolvis Archive folder, which is part of the installation path I described earlier. Run Nolvis Updater once, then run Nolvis Dashboard again, and it will continue the installation process seamlessly. What's truly remarkable about this program is that even if you close Nolvis Dashboard during the installation, when you run it again, it picks up right where it left off. Simply follow this process for each mod that encounters an error. Once the auto installer finishes, navigate to the MO2 folder inside the Nolvis Pack Instance folder. You'll find a file called Mod Organizer. Clicking on it will launch Mod Organizer and automatically load the Nolvis Ascension profile and its list of mods. If around 200 mods and approximately 2,350 ESPs load successfully, then you're all set. When running SKSE from Mod Organizer, it's crucial to specify the binary path as Nolvis Pack Instance and Stock Game and SKSE64 loader. Additionally, ensure that the start-in path points to Nolvis Pack Instance and Stock Game. It seems that Nolvis manages Skyrim game files separately in a folder named Stock. I've also placed Creation Club mods for the Anniversary Edition here for your reference. Furthermore, all the compressed files downloaded by the Nolvis auto-installer can be found in the Nolvis Pack Archive folder. If your hard drive is running low on space, feel free to delete this folder. This is precisely why we need to specify separate paths for archive and instance. Removing the compressed mod files won't affect the game's performance, so if you're running out of storage, go ahead and delete them to free up some space. That concludes the installation guide for Nolvis. I've made every effort to explain the process to make it as easy as possible for you. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications. Additionally, supporting me on Patreon greatly assists in video production. Until next time, enjoy your Nolvis Skyrim experience.